Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP for a special edition of Outer Report. Today we'll be doing our first official game of Sharp Practice by Two Fat Lardies. So I've uh, got through one box each of the Colonials and the Red Coats, and we're ready to play a small game. So in this mission, we kind of made up our own mission here. This barn has been known to have a stash of brandy. So there's all the casks of brandy on the outside. Now both of our forces want to get that brandy and take it back to our own troops. And we need to destroy the barn to deny the enemy use of the brandy. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to get at least, what is it, two? Two casks off mm -hmm. the table edge. And if you're carrying them, it takes four men to carry one. And if you're carrying them by hand, you're, you move at minus one pip. Or you could do, attempt to fix the wagon, put the wheel back on, and then you would get a bonus plus one pip per movement on, on the way out with the brandy. And then of course uh, you need to set the bar on fire too on your way out. Uh, deployment wise, we're both going to start on the road. Those are going to be our deployment points. I'll be starting on this side. Andre will be starting over there. Uh, terrain wise, these fields are both soft cover. The forest there blocks line of sight. This whole piece is one forest and mostly like cover from the fences and then there's one stone fence there. Um, so that is that for terrain and mission. So we'll go over the troops. So here we have the British force. We have two groups of red coats. He is there led by Lieutenant Henry Gage. He's a level two leader. He has an assistant is uh, Sergeant John Martin. He is a level one leader. Uh, and we have a group of six light infantry skirmishers led by uh, Lieutenant, I'm sorry, yeah, he'll have Lieutenant. He'll be a level one Lieutenant, uh, Roger Sharp long-lost uncle of the famous Richard Sharp. It's a little bit about Gage. Uh, I did roll some stats for the two main leaders. So Gage, uh, he's of new money but personally impoverished. Impo impoverished? <laughs> impoverished. In okay, what he said. Uh, he's not born a gentleman but he has attained uh, the status of a gentleman through his rank. He's an honorable man from a sporting life so he gains a bonus for task involving strength. He's also a strapping fellow, so a big strong guy. He's another plus one on his strength roll. And he's a good looking chap with a pleasant disposition. So uh, Gage will be this guy. He's leader one. Leader two will be Martin, Sergeant Martin. And leader three will be Roger Sharp. These are the Americans fighting for their independence. So same setup, a uh, very small army. Um, almost identical. Two groups of Colonial Line Infantry, one group of uh, Light Infantry Skirmishers. These guys have rifles. Uh, everyone else on the table has uh, muskets, including... Or should we just give these guys muskets too? I'll eh, we'll leave them with rifles. Uh, rifles are pretty good, we figured out. <laughs> uh, so we got... Uh, over here we're led by uh, Lieutenant um, Stephen Harper. He is a level two leader, and he's assisted by Sergeant Samuel Knox, who is a level one leader. And leading the um, militia, or not militia, I am for skirmishers, is Lieutenant Johnny Walker. He is a level one leader. Um, so Harper, he has new money with extravagant wealth. He is also an honorable man and a master of disguise, which would give him a bonus if he were trying to pass himself off as someone else. Uh, he's a strapping fellow as well, so he'll get plus one on any of his uh, strength rolls. But he's no looker, and he's a thoroughly despicable disposition. <laughs> <laughs> so people don't like the guy, but he's very wealthy, and he's in charge. So uh, yeah, he'll be leader one. This is Harper, and then this is uh, Knox, the sergeant, and then Johnny Walker, the leader of the... Uh, skirmishers. 
So before we start a few things, we did roll for uh, morale. I got a 10, Andre got a 9. We also rolled for support. Uh, we got six points of support each. So Andre is going to be bringing the flag bearer, the colors, the musician, and he's buying a movable deployment point for his, um, that his uh, skirmishers are allowed to buy. And for me, I'm going to be buying a musician for one point. I'm getting the explorer, a scout, uh, scouting officer, who does not actually deploy on the board. And then I'm going to buy a uh, fixed secondary deployment point. That will be allowed to place within 24 of my deployment point, which is the center of the road, and 30 inches from Andre's. And also the last thing, the well is actually a functioning well. So we found that water-related um, water issues, like feather in the mouth or stepping on a pile of dog crap, that affect your movement or affect your officer and somehow tend to come up quite regularly. So instead of having to buy a water cart each, we can go to the well if you can make it over there and get water. So I think that's it. So we will go ahead and start pulling the dice. All right, first flag of the game. Oh, and also these uh, guys are, um, they can be activated on a random event and charge through your formations and cause havoc. <laughs> So first dice, or first card belongs to Sergeant Knox, who can do nothing. Red flag. All right. Three flags and no one's activated. Can't, uh, can't do it. Nothing happening. And that's my sergeant. No one wants to come on. Still having tea. One more flag, and you can. So you could activate an officer now, and bring him on. Um, I'm good. Okay. Keep drawing. Tipping. <laughs> hmm. Maybe. Let me think about. It. I might activate. So I did uh, spend my three cards to deploy uh, my uh, main force, and I'm gonna burn little. mine. Okay. So Andre's gonna do the same thing, and I. Uh, six inches from the edge but I have the exploring officer who allows me to add three inches to all my deployments and uh, my secondary fixed deployment point I put there where the chickens are and Andre put his movable deployment point uh, where the sheep are there and he's bringing in Johnny Walker with his rifles which are becoming a huge pain in the butt to me <laughs> because I can't you know, it's... I are you already in range? No. <laughs> I was going to say, man, those rifles got some long range. All right, so we keep pulling then. So, <clears throat> Henry Gage deployed there with the sergeant and then... Tiffin. Oh, over there. And Tiffin, so... We both made wise choices yes. in uh, deploying. It, it was a good idea. So we need to march up and get that brand new voice. Nothing like having a little troop motivation. Uh oh. Well, of course, no one's moved or anything, so. Now, if you would have shot, you might have had a random event. So, no random event. Johnny Walker. There he is. Okay. So, this is like a repeat of last night. <laughs> <laughs> so Johnny Walker moved his troops up into the woods towards the brandy and the tiffin. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, we can still activate. Oh, you got two flags. Yep. Sorry. So I could activate uh, Lieutenant Gage, and you cannot do anything. anything. So I'll move Gage up. So Lieutenant Gage was moved. Uh, got a 12-inch move up. Staying on the road and calling, so you get just an extra D6 of movement. So next, next turn. So red, red flag. Ooh, red one, that's Gage again. So Gage has moved up four inches and he's given a form up order to go into line formation. So blue flag. Oh no, don't draw another one. I don't need any. You don't want to go 2d6 forward? Well, that wouldn't be bad. <laughs> oh, oh. Man. All right, hold on. All right, moving random event for Gage. Nine. 
Where's that damn map? The oh, you got out march. a column just in uh, time. Yes. If the troops are in march column, they will halt when next activate or the leader gets his head out of his rear end. <laughs> Ignore this result if the scout is with the horse. So I had a scout anyway, so, so I would have ignored either way. Blue flag. You're going to have to get your main dudes on. they got a long way to go. Well, I guess you could deploy from the other point. Forget about your... Now that uh, Johnny Walker's deployed from the other point, he can... Is that three? Uh, no, it's... Um, Just two more? Yeah. There's three. Uh, so... Another random... I was the last one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Two in a row. Nine again. Same thing. So can I interrupt right now and use Gage again with those four flags? I don't know why not. Okay, I'm going to use the four flags. I'm going to move Gage up. Bonus action, he was able to move up and wheel. So he got pretty far up and he was able to wheel to his left. And now, uh, well, I can't do anything now, but <laughs> assuming those guys are still there next turn, I could shoot at them. <laughs> but there might be a good chance they might not be. So, uh, uh, that's uh, Roger Sharp. Roger Sharp has uh, deployed 12 from the center of the road. It's 9 normally, but the deploying officer allows an extra 3 inch deployment from any deployment point. So, keep pulling. Tipping. So, with the 4, can I bring in my other troops? Uh, you would have had to do that. Before you pull the Tiffin. Okay. All you can do with is use one to activate Johnny Walker in his unit. Well, I can use all four to activate. No, just one. Just one? Yeah, because if the Tiffin comes out, you can just activate the unit. You can't activate the leader. Ah, uh, okay. So you can do two actions. Okay. And with the activation, the group is going to fire at my guys. So you're needing what, uh, you're in close range, or, yeah, you're within 12. No. I thought you were within 12. No. Just out of 12. So, we're just out of 12. So you're in, uh, let me hold on a second, effective range, hitting on uh, fives or sixes, uh, but you get first fire, right? Yep. And you get a uh, bonus for being... Skirmishers, so hitting on threes. Okay. Alright, you guys are in the open. Five hits. Five hits. So, one, two, three. So, I take it you want to put three with the big man? Yep. Okay, three on the big man. It's two shock and on the sergeant. So, two shock each. And then you're going to take your. Actually, you could use, you could move, you have one action left. You can reload, tap reload, half reload. I'm gonna... Uh, move, t move 2d6 using your, your free move. I'm going to uh, tap reload. Oh, I can't reload and move though. Uh, you get one free move because you're skirmishers. Oh, so I can, that doesn't take an action. Nope, it's a free move. Oh, that's too cool. Okay. Yeah, I think we're finding these skirmishers are a little too good almost. Uh, I'm going to uh, <laughs> drop back in the woods. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to drop back this way 1d6. And tap reload. And tap reload. Okay, so he's moving 6 back. Yep, so there's where we wound up. Next turn. Tiffin. Huh. Oh, that's uh, Roger Sharp. Moved up 3d6. Um, two, two with the actions, one with the free, got 11. So, red flag. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't pull another flag, Andre. Ah, oh, sh. You're fired. You're fired from pulling. All right. Who knows? Maybe we'll be good. Doubtful. 11. Oh, boy. Ooh. Uh, commissariat, the quartermaster arrives. 
One unit of player's choice may be resupplied with water or ammunition. <laughs> it was good. Well, it would have been if I needed it. <laughs> we'll take a drink. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so you part. skip your next turn <laughs> sitting around drinking water. Hey, look at that. Oh, look, you can finally bring in Harper. Senator Harper has deployed his formation there behind the light infantry skirmish screen. I don't know if you have to declare that, but I guess as long as they're in front, then you're good to go. Flag, flag. And you move last. I did? Yeah, didn't you move those guys last, or did I move these guys after that? I think it was maybe those guys. I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So, Sergeant Martin is going to take a shock off. Okay. That's what he does. Ooh, that's Gage. And I do have two flags. So I could use them to take off shock, which I will. So he's got two commands plus two cards. So I could take off three shock and have one command left. Which I need to do. Let me decide what I need to do. So we use both actions and moved up to there. And we're ready to grab some brandy and possibly fix the wagon. Tiffin. Tiffin. And so your only guy you could activate is this dude. Okay. Johnny Walker. And I will. Johnny Walker has, or his group, he hasn't activated. Uh, they activated after the Tiffin. Uh, they use their free move and one uh, other action to move up to here. And now they're going to fire onto the big group. After a tap load, so shooting his muskets. Yep, so we got two guys in close range and the rest are in the regular range. Or long range. Right, so is that two hits? I think so, yeah. And two more hits. So four, four hits. hits. Alright, so two on the big man. Two on the sergeant. Ooh, so just two, two shock, shock on the big man. man. Okay, that's it for that turn. We're going to the next turn. Right, first card, next turn. Tiffin. <laughs> End of chapter. Oh, um, yeah, I'm unloaded over there. Oh, red one. Hmm. But no flags. So that means I can take off a shock and activate. Lieutenant Gage has took a shock off, he's wheeled, and he's gonna fire an uncontrolled volley into these skirmishers. So 16 shots, uh, needing fives, fours, because close range, but I get a first fire bonus, but I am uncontrolled. So needing fours. Wow. Not bad. We got here two, four, six, eight, nine hits on the skirmishers, but they are in hard cover. So that it's gonna make a big difference for them. Holy crap. Or not. Three dead. That and is a game-changing roll. See if it's your big man or your little man. No. You got lucky there. Still a game-changing roll. Three dead and two shock on those skirmishers. That was a hell of a volley, boys. And they're unloaded. So we'll go ahead and straighten this up. So a hell of a volley by uh, Gage and his boys. Took out three skirmishers out of two shock. Now uh, that's Sergeant, so I'll take the last shock off of this group with Sergeant uh, Martin. And then that's your big man. Oh, there we go. Lieutenant Harper has moved up eight to there. So we're face to face, man. Eyeball to eyeball. <laughs> Next card. Oh, uh, yeah, Sharp. Roger Sharp moved his boys up. Uh, one D6. We got the free one D6. He got to there and he's going to fire into the line in the trees. So six shots, needing sixes, needing fives, needing fours for the two uh, bonuses. Six shots. 
Four hits. Four hits. And they're in like cover. So the big man. Nothing. And nothing. I guess I made up for your uh, taking it on the chin with your skirmishers earlier. Well, not entirely, <laughs> but it's uh, it's helping a little. It helped. It helped. Tiffin. Mm -hmm. So I've got my boys over here. You can activate Johnny Walker. But you can't pull any shock off. But you could reload and move. Okay. I'm going to move up. One inch. One inch. <laughs> That's, now you're using your head. And well, I, I guess we'll going. tap reload. Alright, let's do this next turn. So you're all loaded, I'm all unloaded. But we are close together. Yeah, but you got the whiskey. I got when the you get loaded, you'll be <laughs> loaded. Yeah, but I gotta stop. I can't. I can't just start walking off with whiskey with these guys right behind me. Shoot Why not? <laughs> Sounds like a good plan to me. All right, come on. Did I fight a smoke grenade? Maybe. <laughs> uh, I see a lot of smoke out there. Yeah, the smoke it uh, blocks line of sight. Ooh, three flags in a row, and that's uh, Johnny that's Walker. Johnny Walker. So we'll let's see what happens to him. Uh, Moving random event for Mr. Walker. Ten. My bolly leg. The leader commanding the unit has sprained his ankle. For the remainder of the game, you will remove minus one pip per dice, unless treated by a physic. Okay. <laughs> so you're at minus one to move. With two shock. With two shock. Yeah, that's bad. Ah, leader one. Okay. Uh, well, obviously I will reload. I'm still uncontrolled, but I think I'll uh, change my target to the guys in the trees. Okay. If I had three dice or uh, three cards, I could do the <laughs> thin red line. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll just fire uncontrolled into your mass formation directly in front of me. All right, here we go. So uncontrolled volley uh, at close range. So I'm needing fours, fives, and sixes. And I'm directing the fire, so... He's adding two to their 16, so 18 shots, needing fours. <laughs> yeah. Take out the misses. So a lot of hits. Ten hits. Look at all those sixes. I was practicing rolling Andre's dice earlier before he got here. I'm stealing my dice. And I actually rolled seven sixes on ten dice during my rolling practice this morning. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... Five each? Or no, you're within... Uh, no, I'm... No, no, no. Well... But are you in actually my... Actually, I am. Are you in my arc? I am. If I'm, if you're in my arc, then... I am, and I'm uh, within, so... Yeah, so as long as you're in here, you, you, you can... Yeah, you can distribute to all three groups. Have to distribute to all three yeah, groups. Yeah, I'm sorry, not can. I think that's my wording I was messing you up in a few it games ago. very much was. I was saying you can. I should say you must. So okay. three each, and then you get to put the odd one. Um, okay, we'll do that. So on to Sergeant Knox. So big man. Two shock. Yep. Time I say big man, I think that song called out Kool-Aid. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing on Knox. See how many kills we can get on these guys this time. One. So one dead and another shock on the So I'm at three. Three yep. shock with three dudes. Yeah, and does that cause an involuntary withdrawal? Or do you have to have more shock? I think it's more. I thought shock. it was more. Yeah. Okay, so all I did was put two shock in the big man. Not good enough. They are unloaded. 
But I am putting a hurting on these riflemen. And that's Sergeant Knox. He will remove the shock. Hard Knox. A flag. You got three flags? I got three flags. I got one. So you could activate either one of these guys. Uh, yeah, either one of these. I could. Um, but I've still got another flag and my one out. So I got twice as good a chance as getting a double as not. Oh, a double, you mean a, a bonus getting phase? To, yeah, have the bonus phase. Okay. Um, or you could draw the tiffin right now and... And just activate them once. Yeah. I'll so I'm actually okay with that. Okay. Um, so how many? That was one flag. Yep. Oh, there's your sergeant. Can't do anything. There's That's my the fourth, fourth flag. flag. That'll be an activation on it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You can get a bonus activation with that. Awesome. So you could fire. And then when you pull the one, you could fire again. Or I could charge. You could. I am unloaded. What are the chances? We'll let Andre think about it off camera. All right, well, here goes. He's gonna unload on me, uh, needing the twos. First fire, where he's gonna present, right? Um, yeah, I'll present. Present, fire at close range. So you're needing fours, but you're Controlled fires three, so hitting on twos with 18 shots in the open. So I'm expecting to. Well, I might not have any left by the end of this. <laughs> gonna be painful. So anything but, anything right? Anything but. Okay, so three, so that's 15. That's it? Just 15. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you've only got 12 there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oop, yeah, three of them are over there. All right, come on. Uh, what's that? Uh, so five, six, seven. Put the heavy on the on the heavy. Six, seven. All right, so on the leader. Yeah. So two, two dead, dead and four shock. And the sergeant. Two shock. Wow. wow. Skated on that. But let me check the big man. Hopefully it's not him. No. So I lost two guys and took some shock. So really not as bad as it could have been by any stretch of the imagination. I got the shock backwards. But it's not over because he could do it all again. We're gonna pull <laughs> a blue one. When he pulls the blue one, he'll get to once again go. Blue one. And charge in, charge home, right? Blue on Tiffin. Tiffin, ah. Uh, uh, you had. Pretty much just saved my rear end. Uh, I can activate uh, yeah. Sharp with that last flood. Yeah, Roger Sharp uh, reloaded, took his free move this way, only got three inch move, and he's gonna fire into the big group with six shots, uh, long range. So that's uh, sixes and then fives for being light infantry. So one hit, we'll take the head right off one your big hit. head. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing but me unloaded. Okay, time well for Andre to get lucky here. I might as well just move the uh, more. No, you can't get lucky anymore. No more lucky for Andre. No luck. And I'll use one of those flags to help remove a shock. <laughs> one of <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, the flag, and then one of his other ones will remove another one. So we're down to that, uh, and then we'll reload and fire minus two dice because of the two shot per group. So I get 12 shots total, uh, needing force, uncontrolled fire. So three, four five total hits and you have to distribute them <laughs> you must distribute
and I haven't heard it again. Okay, I'll go two, two, and one. That's big man? Yep. So. <laughs> oh my god. Now you have, that's an involuntary withdrawal now. So let me get the bad things to You withdraw one inch per shock. shock. So, so you got two guys, you got one over. So you move no, back. no, it's total shock, isn't it? No, it's, it's just excess. Excess? Yes. Okay, so... So they move one inch back for... Just total, because they got two guys with three shots. And then don't I roll a die also? No, you just move back an inch. And then uh, you have to roll a bad thing for oblige to withdraw. I can break them. So that's probably nothing. Yeah, that's yeah. nothing. You need a four plus from on that roll to do anything. So you lost two men, he lost three men in that. Yep. Okay. So alright then, that's a fairly effective shot. I need to get them under control. Oh jeez, Tiffin. Oh my god. <laughs> Unreal, you got a free turn. I did, big time. Unreal, okay, come on. Two, uh, take a shock off, it's Sergeant Martin. Three. So that's Roger Sharp. So Sharp has moved four inches with his free move, reloaded, and I'm debating to keep pouring it onto you. Johnny Walker. But I think I'm going to fire into the big group again instead. I'm not too worried about Walker. It'd be nice to force him to uh, withdraw and make you roll on the table again, but I think it'll be more useful to fire. Just snipe your leader, if you realize. Uh, who, Walker? Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm still long range. That's why I pulled the guy off the corner. <laughs> Yeah, you're thinking ahead, Andre. So one, that's uh, six shots. So eight and fives. So three hits into your big group. Okay, one. I've never seen it. Oh man. So you got to roll for leaders now because oh, because yeah, skirmishers are firing. So it's not the big man. It's not. So just a dead man in each group. Just. <laughs> Just. I notice that guys dying in this game are a lot, uh, it hurts more than it's chain of command. You've already lost four men. Out of your big formation there. Really? Who read one? <laughs> <laughs> this is the opposite of last night, Andre. Yeah. We played a game last night where Andre kicking my ass all over the place. He's kept pulling everything in the right order and I was just kind of waiting and waiting. And we actually filmed it, but it was not a very entertaining game. Of course, this one might not be either by the time it's over. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, since I didn't get to do uh, my assault. I'll remove one. So I reloaded. Well, first I'm gonna take a shock off and then I'm gonna tell him to reload and fire an uncontrolled volley again. So what is that? 14 shots. So let me gather those. All right, so uncontrolled volley. Um, you're still in my arc here, so you're gonna have to keep adding to him. Actually, he's more than four now though. But it doesn't matter, as long as I'm, you're in my uh, cone of, or zone of fire here. Really? Yeah, they, they could be far apart. Anywhere, oh. But if I was to direct fire, you can actually direct fire towards a unit in your zone of fire and then I would ignore that but I didn't have enough command to do that so we got here Just a lot of hits man. Again. three six ten more hits well. we want that brandy Nothing. 
house of the big man. Mm-hmm. Another dead guy for Sergeant Knox and a shock. Walker, a shock. Okay. And so that uh, involuntary withdrawal again. Well, you have that? double now. So you have double shock command, so I think you'd route. Let me check. I'm off the, so I'm off the table? Yeah. So he had uh, double the amount of shock as men. So we had to retire 2d6 plus 6 away from the firing unit. So we ran off the board. So get your dice out for bad things happen. So group breaks. What was it? A three? Three. Minus one. And then you had a status level, status two leader routes from table. Four. Four is minus two. So you're down to six. Down to six. And in trouble. Because of the way that these chips have been coming out all in my favor. Tiffin. <laughs> Tiffin. <laughs> You want the tiffin? <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> calling out what I want hasn't been working for shit. Uh, <laughs> Leader one. So what's the story here? You're only got two shock. You have lost a lot of men though. So, but it doesn't matter. Why? I'm still at uh, full strength for assault. So I will use my flag. So you're going to assault. I'm going to pull two shock, and I'm going to come forward 2d6. Okay, then. He's going to try to charge, and I'm unloaded, so I'll take some negative dice for that. Needing a six. That's... Both Your actions. odds are in my favor. It's <laughs> neat, guys. <laughs> Or actually, I could roll one and still have an action left, couldn't I? To do what? Um, I might need to do something after I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Did you not make I it? I mean, whoops. Yeah, whoops. You didn't make it, huh? Unbelievable. Holy. Yeah, plus you got the. No, oh, you took all the shock off. So you're about a half an inch away. Oh, bad. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a really good shot here. To win? The to, to win this. It's not to be. But that doesn't mean you can't do it in the next turn. Tiffin. <laughs> yeah, I need three more actually, red flags. Yeah, that's the only three red flags or the Tiffin. That's all that can happen here. Uh, yeah, because I've already activated everyone, haven't I? Tiffin. Yep. Well, this is it. This is it. Is that close, considered close range? I think so. I think we're touching bayonets at the moment. Sword fighting. <laughs> we're both unloaded, though, aren't we? Yeah. But I don't think that matters unless you're getting attacked. It doesn't matter if you're right. the attacker. Because you're just charging with a bayonet. Uh, take a shock off. What the hell? Oh, red flag, alright, come on. Three. Uh, that's. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> or not dead, he ran off the board. Ah, red <laughs> one. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I'm uncontrolled. Um, So I might as well just shoot again, or reload and present and let you charge me loaded. But you're still in soft cover, huh? Hmm, let me think about it. Alright, so after the uh, discussion, we decided that I am going to charge you. But Travis might change his mind when I remind him that he's uncontrolled, and if he fails his oh, attack roll, he Well, will I got be... the musician. So on a one, <laughs> oh man, so if I roll a one, I can't attack. And then you're just standing there unloaded. And then I'm just a sitting duck. Um, well, I could try to get them under control. 
And then if I fail, then I, all I can do is uh, reload. I could reload. I, yeah. So that would stop me from being attacked unloaded. At yep. least that would help a little bit. That would help a lot. And if I get uh, Sharp's card out, I can hit you in the flank with some shots. It's a tough decision. You know, it's pretty easy to think, well, anything but, but man, how many times have we said that and then rolled the, the butt? Well, <laughs> it's the downside to the butt here is Gigantic. devastating. Yeah. Because you will it's be It's a slim chance, me. but it's a... Or I could just reload and fire another uncontrolled volley of... But, that uh, wasn't four, a bad choice either. 14 shots. You don't, you don't have any bad choices here. No. You don't have uh, one that's decisively better than all the others either, though. Yeah, so, yeah, because if we charge, we I would have 15, you would have 11. I'll tell you what. You make a decision, we'll do it, and I'll tell you whether it was a good idea or not. <laughs> all right, I'm going in. Bayonet charge, boys. Ah, we made it. Well, not quite. I guess I'll actually got to make the roll, right? <laughs> um, or are we one inch apart? Um... Well, you got minus one on your. Uh, so I'll just use both my actions to charge. So I can't fail, even if I roll uh, snake eyes. No, snake eyes would be minus one. Oh, actually, we're more than one inch apart, so snake eyes. I think you made it. Is that good? Okay, I'll <laughs> let you do it. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm gonna shut these guys up once and for all. All right, so he has the flag, and that actually gives him a big bonus in. Fisticuffs, assuming he loses. It's <laughs> well, not much of a bonus if you win, but it is if you lose. So Well, I'm fine with just winning outright. So you get 11 and I get 15. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So fives are kills and sixes are kills and shock. Yeah, that's fine. So you got it. One. How many did you lose by though? Because remember, if two. you, I got so you two. ignore it. I got, f you lost four, and I lost two, and I took a shock. But since the flag is there, we actually, you keep fighting. Yeah, but I go down by two dice. Yeah, so you lost four men. Oh, I lost four men. Yeah, because I got four fives. You got. Okay. I lost two men. I'm assuming I lose them evenly. So we got to roll for leaders. Yeah. Actually, I don't think you have to lose them evenly. So I lost two. So how do we do this? Do we roll, uh, I guess if you take men out of each group, I'll I'm take one out of you've each. Got a... Okay. So I'll take one out of each and I'll roll a d6 for the big man. No, not him. Not the sergeant. Okay. So I, I took two out of each. Okay. Big man. So you're good. So we're good. Okay. So due to the flag, you actually we actually fight again. But but we recalculate. I'm at half, so I only get six dice. Yeah. So let's uh, we'll come back after we recalculate. So it'll be nine versus fifteen this time. Ooh, that's bad. I got a lot. Uh, you got. I need fours, fives, and sixes. No, right? Fives and sixes. <laughs> <laughs> so you lost uh, big time. I lost three men, you lost uh, six Six men, and you take uh, I'm done. three shock. It's That's game it. over. All right, left-handed handshake. <laughs> we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, so Lieutenant Gage and his boys have uh, got themselves a couple casks of brandy. They're headed back to uh, wherever they came from down the road, and they're lighting the barn on fire so that the scavengers, colonial scavengers, can't come back and get any brandy. So, uh, overall, it was just a luck. That game really came down to luck more than anything. Well, because the, I was getting all the all the pulls when I needed them. The decisive roll was actually when you uh, got three kills on my uh, oh, yeah. skirmishers. Um, that hurt. I I didn't mind my position there because I was firing from cover mm -hmm. and you were hanging in the breeze. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> and there wasn't much you could do about it and. Um, that's a, 
I think, a big enough tactical advantage that I was willing to just sit there and exchange fire with you. But as soon as I lost my uh, those three guys, that really reduced my fire effectiveness. And uh, that's when I figured, okay, I've got to come in and use my flag in the fisticuffs. And uh, that's where the luck really came in. I just couldn't press home that attack when I needed to. Yeah, because you were saying if you would have had made it, uh, you, you would have had better odds of winning. I'd have had a four dice advantage, and that advantage increases each time because we're removing guys. Right. Um, That's the same advantage I had in this fist of Yeah. Those four dice. Um, so you would, yeah, you would have been. It would have been the other way, and I could have kept fighting even if I was losing. The attrition would have been in my favor. Right. But I uh, rolled a four when I needed a six on two dice. But unlike, even if if that did happen and I lost, I still had these guys on the table. You did, which and is why losing the three over here yeah. was... Because these guys running free without them. I mean, look at what it looks like now. Assuming you won, your, if you charged and won... I might not have had would, enough. You would have looked like that. <laughs> and then I would have picked you off. So it's... Yeah, losing your skirmishers, you couldn't check my skirmishers. So you, you were... And it wasn't just that one roll, the three. Every single time you rolled, you rolled a six on them. This is, well, losing the first three well, yeah, um, was a major change in strategy. At that point I couldn't just exchange fire and plan on uh, keeping enough uh, shock on you to um, keep you uh, pinned there. But what were your plan? What about you had to take these guys into account? Well, they would have moved up and started blasting you. It took, it, you know, it took them, what, four turns to it took a while, yeah. It took a while, <laughs> and that would have been enough shooting um, that, you know, I could have wheeled around, and again, I'm in cover, you're out, and um, so numerically, I think I could have checked you um, with, uh, yeah, just a, a little a little better luck, but uh, that's always the way this game is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's very, it all comes down to those chips coming out man it's i don't care how good your strategy is uh if the other guy is lucky um that's uh tough to deal sometimes with. it's better to be lucky than good uh, <laughs> it always is game. better to be lucky than good <laughs> yeah but yeah i love this game it's uh i love just the the way it flows and the way the chips come out you never know what's going to happen you could have the best plans in the world but like andre said if the chip doesn't come out when you need it, that plan doesn't mean anything. Yeah, and it was just kind of odd. Um, you know, you were able to march all the way up, and I'm basically just sitting on my deployment zone. Yeah, and you brought your deployment zone right up here. I put my other one over there and never used it. But getting on column on the road, yeah, I was up. I was up in line, you know, next to the barn by the third turn. <laughs> oh, before, the before my lines made the board. Yeah, I was just booking up. Yeah, that was which, also a, that was also a product of the dice. I mean, the the cards coming out. Which again, if I could have, uh, I really wanted initially, uh, if they'd have come out uh, right at the beginning, I was going to bring them up and break them into two uh, groups, so that I didn't have to have facing. Right. Oh, yeah. And then I uh, would have had more trouble, uh, you know, with the cards in terms of getting them all to fire. But I've got my uh, troops in hardcover. So, yeah. Um, and with the skirmishers up here, and so yeah, everybody would have been in hardcover. You have to come around this side to get to the barrels. So we would have had some kind of a standoff <laughs> there. I'm not sure how you might have had to try to flank me somehow, or it get... wouldn't have been much of a standoff with you and covering me in the open. Unless, um, like you said, I went all the way around. Yeah, you'd have probably had to try to flank. At which point. I might have tried to break out and grab the barrels or, you know, who knows? Yeah, it would well, have been a very different game. We may never know, but so yeah, we, uh, we like this game and we need to, I'm going to start adding, I'm already working on adding more men. Um, we got the British, I'm working on another box of red coats, got some colonial militia coming in, uh, get a cannon each and the cannon box comes with, uh, mounted officers. So our big man will be on a horse. <laughs> so he'll look really cool, you know, just cruising around on his horse. Not hoofing it with the rest of the uh, low lifes. 
Or he will be hoofing it, I guess, because he'll be on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, with that, we'll leave you, and we'll be back for the next bottle report. <laughs>